You've just fed your baby, they're content and drifting off to sleep. But wait, there's one more crucial step, burping. You see, as your little one enjoys their meal, they can swallow air, which can lead to discomfort and fussiness if not released. This is where burping comes in, a simple yet important practice that aids in releasing this trapped gas. Whether you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding, this applies across the board. It's not just us saying this, but experts from WHO and UNICEF also emphasize the importance of correctly burping your baby. It's a small act, but it can make a world of difference to your baby's comfort. Because let's face it, a comfortable baby is a happy baby. And a happy baby leads to a more peaceful household. So let's dive into how to correctly burp your baby, whether they're wide awake or fast asleep. A wide awake baby is easier to burp, but it's still important to do it correctly. Burping an awake baby can be done in two main ways, over the shoulder and sitting up. Both methods are effective, but you may find one works better for your baby than the other. Let's dive into each of these methods now, shall we? First, the over the shoulder method. This one's pretty straightforward. You'll want to hold your baby high on your chest, their chin resting on your shoulder. Place one hand on their bottom for support and gently pat or rub their back with the other hand. This gentle motion encourages the release of trapped air. Next up is the sitting up method. For this, you'll want to sit your baby on your lap, facing away from you. Support your baby's chest and head with one hand by cradling your baby's chin in the palm of your hand and resting the heel of your hand on your baby's chest. Be careful to grip your baby's chin, not their throat. With your other hand, gently pat or rub your baby's back. Both methods are endorsed by the World Health Organization and UNICEF, ensuring they are safe and effective. It's important to note that every baby is different and what works for one might not work for another. Remember, patience is key. It might take a few minutes for the burp to come, but your baby will be much happier afterward. Now, burping a sleeping baby can seem daunting. You don't want to wake them, but you also don't want them to be uncomfortable. But fear not, with a little finesse and a lot of patience, you can master the art of burping a sleeping baby. First, let's look at the over the shoulder method. With your baby's chin resting on your shoulder, gently pat their back. Remember, the key word here is gently. You're not trying to wake the baby, just to release the trapped air. Next, there's the sitting up technique. To do this, sit your baby upright on your lap, supporting their chest and head with one hand while you gently rub or pat their back with the other. Again, the aim is to be as unobtrusive as possible. You'll notice we have parents of different ethnicities demonstrating these techniques. That's because the need to burp a baby is universal, crossing all cultural and geographical boundaries. It's important to remember that every baby is different. Some may burp immediately, others may take a little longer. Patience is key. And remember, if your baby doesn't burp after a few minutes, they may not need to. Lastly, don't be discouraged if you find this process a bit tricky at first. It's a skill that improves with practice. And remember, the goal is to ease your baby's discomfort, not to perform a perfect burp every time. With practice, you'll be able to burp your sleeping baby without disrupting their peaceful slumber. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, your baby just won't burp. Don't worry, there are other ways to help release that trapped gas. A popular technique is bicycle legs. Gently move your baby's legs in a pedaling motion as if they're riding a bicycle. This can help to move the gas along and out of their system. Another technique is tummy time. Placing your baby on their belly can apply gentle pressure to the stomach and help release any trapped wind. Of course, always supervise your baby during tummy time to ensure they're safe and comfortable. These techniques, among others, are safe and recommended by trusted health organizations, including WHO and UNICEF. They're simple, gentle, and can make a world of difference to your little one's comfort. Remember, every baby is different. What works for one might not work for another. But with these techniques, you're well equipped to help your baby feel comfortable after every feeding.